Alright guys, let's begin. So, in this presentation, I'm teaching my seven-year-old son, Adam, how to set up his website using one and one Now, I've been with one and one since the very beginning. A lot has changed in their back office. This is what you're looking at right now as a control panel. But what you're about to learn is how do you set up a WordPress blog, how do you set up an FTP software so that you can do some changes to your website. So let's go ahead and begin. We want to click on Domain Center. And then once domains load up, we're going to go ahead and select Adam David Ramirez. If you haven't chosen your domain, go ahead and create one. Now you can order them through here. This is a control panel. And you can do that, but you'll notice that right now it's under web space, the root directory, and that's not what we want. We actually want to put it into a subdirectory. So let's go ahead and click on Domain Settings and then Edit Basic Settings. Under Basic Settings, what you want to do is modify the destination. And you'll notice that right now the status shows active. Yours should stay active as well. Let's click on that. And you'll notice that right now the target directory is the root directory. There's no subfolder. So we're going to go ahead and create one. The easiest way to do this is go install FileZilla. It's a free application. Just go to FileZilla.com. Uh, looks like FileZilla.project.org. But if you Google it, you'll find it. Once you install it and download it, you'll be able to set up your site. Let me show you how you do that. You click on the top left, open site manager. And I created a site called Adam Ramirez. Okay, you can create yours based off that. Your host would be AdamDavidRamirez.com. Port by default, we'll leave it all alone, and then we're going to use standard FTP. And we're going to go ahead and get the normal username and password to log into our FTP. And so the way you do that is you go to the control panel, right here at the top right, one and one control panel. And once you're here, you'll notice that you'll see FTP towards the bottom, where it says manage web space, FTP account. And this is going to give you the information for your FTP account to be able to log in and uh, get your username. So you want to make sure you copy that username right there. That one's mine. So you'll have to get yours and then go ahead and enter your password that you set up there under the FTP account section. And once we log in with the credentials, you'll notice that you'll see different folders if you have other websites. You may not, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and create one for my website for my son, Adam David Ramirez. So just go ahead and type in the name. And then all you're telling the web page now is where is it located. So I'm going to go ahead and reload it. I'm going to change the destination from the root directory. And you'll notice that you'll see a folder in there that you created inside of the FTP. Updates in progress, and you should be good to go to start editing files in there. So in this directory, you can add images, videos, and all kinds of good stuff. You have access to that folder now, so no matter what you put in there, it's going to show up to that location that we chose inside of our our folder, our main folder for one on one. Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install WordPress, fairly simple. In your control panel under hosting, you'll see WordPress under the App Center. So easy and quick website creation, click on WordPress. Once here, you want to click on where it says install. You want to enter a website name without any special characters, just strictly text. So go ahead and give it that name. So whatever your website name is, this is where you want to enter it. Go ahead and create your administrator login. It'd be a login name and a password. Uh, because this is for my son, I'm going to create the father account and then create him uh, an admin account later for himself to play around with. Go ahead and check off that you've read the terms and go ahead and install. What you want to do here is change the domain to be the name of the one that you chose. So we're going to pick this one for my son, Adam David Ramirez. You want to make sure you click change domain. And now the website is being pointed to that domain instead of the root directory. 
Alright, you'll see here that all the credentials are done. We got name, domain, and of course the admin URL if you ever need to edit the section. And you are essentially done with the WordPress installation. Fairly simple. If you go to your .com name, you'll notice that WordPress has been installed. By the default, this is the theme for WordPress at this current release. So you want to make sure that you pay attention that this is the release. And I'm going to show you how to log into admin section. Usually there's a link at the bottom left for the admin section, but you want to enter username and password right there. Or you can go directly to adminramirez.com, your domain name, forward slash wp-login.php. A little bit long to remember, you can also do forward slash wp-admin. And this is uh, how you install WordPress.